Hello everyone. In the last video, we have integrated Khalti Payment Gateway in our e-commerce site. But today, I am going to integrate Iseva Payment Gateway. Iseva is the largest payment gateway in Nepal, and I am going to integrate the payment gateway in our website while checking out. Okay, so you can see that in our card section, there is a product. If you go to check out the card, then you will be asked for login and if i log in correctly log in as a customer then you can see there is a form that is asking for the order information and after that there is a payment method and here cash and delivery and call are available payment gateway for now but i'm going to add another payment gateway here that is iseva okay so let's go to our code and inside the uh, inside the here you can see that we made a constant we have made a constant that is cash and delivery and khaldi but i am going to add another option here that is e seva and now when you go to your checkout page you can see that khaldi e seva and cash and delivery options are available but since this affects our model i want to make my i want to make migrations first After migrating, I want to run my project, and I want to make my make my code little bigger. And you can see I have added this ECVA here and migrated since uh, our database field is altered. And now what I want to do is uh, when user selects this ECVA, then user should go to the ECVA uh, ECVA website to pay the amount. So for this let's go to the iseva documentation here and uh, after we go to the iseva documentation the documentation link is developer.iseva.com.np slash s slash introduction and if you go that you can read all the introduction here and uh, you can go for ep ep is for web application android and ios applications are sep have separate documentations and i want to go to ep ep and here the transaction flow diagram is here and uh, I don't want to read all these stuffs and I just want to go to the go to direct implementation of the document uh, implementation of the uh, payment gateway okay so first of all uh, uh, I want to make the similar process similar process uh, and like khaldi so let's go to our URL pattern and like khaldi I want to make request URL for uh, iseva okay iseva request and if you make this iseva request view dot is underscore view similar to our call the request here iseva request and this is the um, url patterns and now i need to make this view class in our views.py so let's go to our views.py and below the call the call the um, logic i want to make here a class named iseva request view and this view will be uh, simply view <coughs> and after that i want to define a method get self request uh, args and quotes and i want to return a template response this render function requires request is the first argument and template name is the second argument i want to make the template name e seva request okay e seva request dot html and after that i can say in context in context i want to define empty for now okay and if you do this you have to make this iseva request at html in your template folder so let's go to our template folder and make a new file iseva request dot html and after that what i want to do is i want to first of all here is also the payment pro payment process page payment process uh, page and from payment process page when we submit uh, the submit this form and then we can uh, 
send we can send the payment request uh, with the following information to the eceva this link and eceva will ask us for the um, for all the details and credentials of the customer okay so let's copy this okay there are lots of option here it is for html this is for javascript this is for python and uh, i want to get the code for html okay since i'm working with html and in here you can um, import this html thing and after that i want to paste the code here so and i also want to implement the redirection when is selected from here okay so now here you can see if a payment method pm is healthy then it should redirect to the healthy request page and l if pm equals to equals to iseva iseva then i want to redirect to the iseva request page with the order id okay so return redirect Become app call the request instead of call the request. I need to write is a request here is a request here and OID equals to string of the order object ID. Okay, so now if you check if you go to check out and submit information of the user and um, select is a here, then you can see that it is uh, redirected to the iseva request page with the order id 21 in here only a submit button is here so you can see here every input button provided by the call provided by the iseva are hidden all all the input element types are hidden so no things are visible here but if you for some time define text instead of uh, hidden you can see error data okay so this is 100 and according to the documentation transaction amount is 100 amount is 90 this is 5 this is psc so to know the meaning of all these codes what we need to do is we need to go to the iseva documentation and check for the terminology okay so when you go to the documentation below you can see that amount is the amount of the product or item or ticket okay tx amount is the tax amount of the on uh, the product or item or ticket etc and psc is the service charged by the merchant uh, merchant on product or item or ticket and and delivery charge by merchant okay so what we need to do here is in our case uh, delivery charge is zero okay and uh, what is pdc pdc is the delivery charge okay pdc is the delivery charge i want to make all of them zero and uh, instead of 90 i want to write 100 here okay so so to amount is also 100 amount is also 100 t amount is also 100 t amount is the total payment including tag total payment equals to amount plus tx amount plus psc amount plus t amount and uh, all other for all other values i want to set zero and i want to make t amount and amount equal okay so what we need to do is we need to set them zero all all the items to zero and these two must be equal in our case but if you uh, apply delivery charge you can write delivery charge here delivery charge here if you apply 10 rupees delivery charge what you need to do is here you should write 9 rupees sorry 90 rupees okay so this 90 plus 10 must be equal to the 100 so in our case i want to set it to zero okay so now and the other things are scd okay what is scd scd merchant code provided by the iseva okay when you sign up uh, is sign up in the iseva as a merchant um, they will send you a merchant code okay for now we will use test account and uh, <coughs> this is the pid pid means um, a unique id of the product or item we will use order id here okay and uh, 
and this is the link uh, this is the link to our success url and this is the link to our failure url okay so uh, let's put the um, let's send this data from our from our front end sorry back end okay so let's go to our back end mm -hmm. let's go to that view which powers the this html so and this is the place where is your request at html is responded and here what i want to get is first of all i want to get this oid okay similar to the uh, call the request o underscore id equals to request dot get dot get o underscore id after i get oid i want to get the o order okay order object and in this case what i need to do is order dot objects dot get id equals to o id o id and o underscore id and after that i want to send this uh, order to my html okay order using this con context and uh, in your template you can get this order variable Mm, and here instead of writing 100 what i need to do is order dot total this is also order dot total order dot total and mm, these are the statically filled values and after that uh, i need uh, e pay e -pay payment and name scd and in case i want to change the value provided by the mm, provided by the documentation okay so let's go to our documentation and let's go to our documentation below extreme below and uh, here are credentials and urls provided by the iseva okay for uh, for link for development this is the merge and development and after that here is the so let's first go to the link for development mode okay so let's go to this url and use this merge and credential copy username is the test username and password is this test password and if we go to this url invalid aceva id or password what happened for testing purpose test merchant credential okay what happened here okay leave it as it is and for now and let's continue our work first of all what i need to send is i need to send this information okay this is actually product id or uh, instead of product id i want to use order underscore and uh, order underscore in this case i want to use order dot id okay order is the variable sent from our backend and i want to use id here so uh, if our order id is 20 then order underscore 20 will be the value of this input field and in this case uh, i want to use um, in the success url if uh, everything goes right then i want to uh, redirect user to 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 and in case the failure error occurs i want to send the u user to the request dot b u i l d build underscore a b s o l u t e absolute underscore uri okay this will face the current url of the and uh, in case of production you can replace it with your domain okay so uh, i think everything is fine now so let's try let's try the request page okay so if we refresh the page here 10 is filled 10 is filled 0 0 0 e payment and what is the e payment e payment is the transax cd scd so let's go to the iseva documentation and scd scd what is the meaning of merchant code provided by iseva we don't have merchant merchant code for now 
SCD is a payment e payment e payment e payment okay I guess for test account the value of SCD is e payment by default okay so let's go and check it let's submit the form and if you submit the form you will be redirected to the eSaver payment page okay and uh, after you redirect to the eSaver payment page if you cancel then it is redirected to this page this is due to the um, failure URL url okay this is the current url of our page and it will be redirected to it and if i go and submit it again then you will be redirected to the page and if you uh, if you go here and uh, search for the uh, credential of the user then you can use test1 at the rate is test5 at the rate is dot com dot np for credential is for iseva id and uh, what is the password test12 is the password so let's in let's enter it here and login you can see that uh, service is currently unavailable please try again later so it is throwing this error here so what happened I think this is the fault of the ISEVA. The service is down. So let's check with the this default ID. Let's log in and invalid username or password. What happened here? Mm. If I inspect and get the password from here. Mm. let's change the type of the password to empty okay so let me check the credential for now welcome back everyone uh, i found the new password for the test account and uh, so let's resubmit the form again and if you go here i entered the new password here and if i go to the login then the payment failure so let's cancel the request and again let's test it again let's go here and let's enter the information and if i know what what happened again so i think there is a problem in iseva login with this is going to the failure request okay so let's clear the session first let's go to our home page here and if you go to your home page then here in cart no items in the cart so let's let's add another item in the cart here uh, add item to the cart go to the cart so if you check out <coughs> and after you check out fill the information and go to iseva and uh, now here order id is 22 and the order value total values are here and now if we submit this form then you can see that here is a here is a panel we entered the test id here with the test credential test password and uh, if i log in here you can see that we are redirected to the redirected to the payment detail page and if i enter the information i don't want to put email here uh, and uh, total is 10 rupees and if i continue to the payment there is a confirmation page and if i confirm it then i am redirected to my home page okay this is the success page you can see that uh, the success page i put in the value is this home page okay so i don't want to put uh, redirect it to my home page but i want to redirect it to my um, eseva verify page okay so in uh, our transaction is not complete for now since it uh, is redirected to our home page but i want to redirect it to the eseva verify because after payment process after payment process what we need to do is we need to verify the transaction okay so that our transaction it will be successful so let's 
make a URL this is your verify URL in our URL stood by B E R I F Y okay is your verify and then uh, I want to make this V capital V and let's make this view in our views dot by below the is your request view okay so here you can see mm -hmm. this is only view and I want to make a get method okay you can see the data is appended like this with the what that is they are URL patterns from the get request and these uh, uh, inserts this request are get request to our home page so uh, in for now this request will be for our verify URL okay. so I want to put a get request get method here self request args quarks okay and after that I want to return re, redirect redirect to my home page okay so for now I want to write the logic to get this data okay order ID amount and ref ID okay so let's go to our view and get that data o id equals to request dot get dot get o id and i need to face other two data from the get request that is amount and ref id okay so another is amt and another is ref id ref id i think i is capital here but let me check once yes id is capital I okay so if I get the data then let's print OID comma AM, AMT comma REF ID let's check it works or not and if I uh, refresh this data again you can if I refresh this data again no 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 this is incorrect URL okay so let's add another item into the cart go to cart check out put some information and select isewa payment gateway and here you see the information and if you submit the information then it is redirected to the isewa payment page login with the credential and after login it is uh, redirected to the isewa payment confirmation page and if we continue the payment and confirm the payment you can see that we are redirected to the home page but before redirecting to the home page it is redirected to our isewa verify page and after that we have redirected to the home page so th this function this logic inside the function is executed so uh, i have printed this three information so let's go to our console and it is showing order 23 10 and 0000, 0, 0, 0 dn1 is our this oid amount and uh, refer reference id successfully so to verify the uh, transaction what we need to do is we need to go to the payment verification section and here in the payment verification section um, you can see uh, we can use ST, HTML, we can use JavaScript, we can use other language, but in our case, our backend is Python. Okay, so I want to use this syntax, and uh, here request is imported, and here is the URL, and I want to copy it to the, I want to copy it to my ECOA verification view, and let me um, format it right and you can see that here is the url payment um, verification url and for that we need to send some data and first of all is amt amt is 100 here but i want to use this amt variable okay a sorry amt and uh, scd is for now um, ep e underscore payment when you go live you have to get that get this uh, <coughs> merchant id from iseva okay you, iseva will provide you and uh, our id is i think a re reference id so we need to remove that with this variable and for pid i need to 
use OID okay OID is the PID you can see here where inside the console that the data printed in the above section is this order underscore 23 this is our ID okay so instead of req.post we need a request library to post the uh, that post this data into this URL okay so this is the response and we are printing the response text here okay so um, we don't need to print this information for now we just need to print the this information so let's go to the eSeva sorry go to our home page add item to the cart go to cart go to the card and after you go to the card check out why is it responding slow so i want to put some information shipping information and i want to select the main method iseva and place order okay so these are the data shown in the form i'll hide it once it completes and let's go to the payment page and you see where payment page opens here i think my internet has a problem okay so let me check once why is it not connecting okay or link so we are going to you see our payment page login with the details and after you log in with the following details <coughs> then what happens so slow response confirm the payment and now it is redirected to the where so let's wait Inter I think internet is slow so response is slow so you can see here uh, no things are printed okay so here you can see that success response is uh, success response is uh, here okay there is a success here so what I need to do is um, you can see that this is a XML format and we need to process the XML in Python okay so if you search for X ml in python and go to the python documentation if you go to the python documentation um, here uh, you can process the python process the uh, uh, you can process the uh, what uh, this xml response is let's import this in our view okay import this in our view you can import it here or you can import it inside your function also and if you import it here and uh, we need to, we don't need to use et.parse okay we just need to um, use this syntax okay so i want to copy it here and instead of this uh, country data as a string i want to um, uh, use resp dot content here okay so if you print that root if you print that root for now so let's uh, repeat the process again let's add this item to the cart go to cart why is it so slow so let me make my server down and run it again let's go to checkout and if you go to checkout and fill some information here select iseva and place order you can see a new order is placed and enter the login details and if you enter the login details and confirm the payment then you will be redirected to the home page but for now what you can see is element response at this okay so what you can do now is we can uh, we can convert this uh, this uh, if uh, root of uh, we can get the root of uh, we can get the object uh, that is inside the success okay so if we go to the documentation and uh, to get the data what we need to do is um, root 
root object where is the root object root dot tag root dot attribute root dot tag is data in this case root dot tag tag is data and uh, root dot tag where is it country this is showing in the dictionary format but if you write this okay if you write this root zero okay so let's print this root zero and if we do this let's add the item again in the cart go to cart so in test process we have to do many iteration of the process okay so it will i think it will irritate you but at last when it succeed we may feel easy so let's place the order again and if we go to login to slow internet the slowness is due, due to the uh, due to the fact that um, we oh, oh, authentication failure what happened something went wrong okay let me pause it and i will uh, i will fix my internet problem first so let's pause it for now okay for five minutes I think everything is right now so let's confirm the payment authentication failure occurred and uh, let's scan back go back let's go to our home page again and try it again sometimes uh, error also occurs from ECLA, okay so we are facing this type of error errors let's go to iseva let's submit let's log in with the credential here let's continue payment let's confirm the payment and we are redirected to our home page but in our console you can see that uh, we we are seeing the response printed here okay so if you go to your root zero and the text method here and do the process again go to cut okay still the same problem so we are in the in our last uh, last step so ignore the problem continue confirm and if you go to your console here is success we achieved okay so here maybe you can see that here is a space here is a space the uh, line above the success and line below the success there you can see that some some gaps here or white spaces so i want to remove these white spaces okay and let me save the variable let me save it in the variable and uh, after that I want to strip okay mm, now strip will remove white spaces in the text so if status equals to equals to success and you can see that uh, there is a capital S for success okay is it capital S or small s I think capital S so let's uh, replace it with capital X yes and if response is success then what we need to do is we need to redirect the user to the home page else in else condition we want to return re okay in both of the condition we will no 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 we will redire redirect to the error page okay so uh, you can also redirect the user to other page but i want to redirect the user to which page which page is a request page but to send the <coughs> user to this is a request page is a request page what we need to do is we need to provide some data here like this where is that where is the this okay this 
url param should be appended here so uh, in case you can append this order id and uh, here you can append the order id so oid is here but oid is not actually our order id so what we need to do is we need to split this so let me get the order id from here this is oid dot split i want to split it with the un underscore okay and i want to get the um, second item okay o zero is first and one is second so i want to append it here and after that you can see let me check once um, add to cart go to cart <coughs> <coughs> Uh, check out after you check out you have to enter the information here and choose Iseva is a payment gateway and if you submit the information now then uh, um, after putting the Iseva credentials and confirming the payment then we are redirected to our home page and let me open a uh, incognito window to open my admin panel admin admin login okay admin login and uh, i think admin is ecom admin and admin at the rate one two three hour password and this is the newest order 758 758 okay and if i go here you can see that using iseva but not paid so what happened here oh let me go to the healthy page okay here you can see that when the trans when the, um, the response is true success then we have changed the values here okay so here you can see we need to uh, make the payment completed true and save the order object so let me copy it to our iseva verification is your verification here and but we don't have this order object so let it be in the in this section and uh, also now you can get the order obj equals to order dot objects dot get id equals to order id okay so this ord let me make this variable similar okay so now we have uh, got the order id from here oid con the oid contains or order underscore id number okay so i split it that uh, word and i took the second item from the list so a split will result in the list and i took the second item in the list okay so if you want to see the sample then you can see that oid i have printed before oid equals to order underscore 23 so if you want to get this order and 23 separate then you need to use split but um, you have to split with this underscore symbol okay after splitting it will become order and and 23 here okay so what you have done is you have separated them and got uh, now the zero index is order and index one is this 23 and after that after that what you have done is you have got the object and after that we have made this uh, payment completed field to true and we have set the order object so let me check once again i think this is our final test and we if we got success we will uh, manage that page okay so empty not empty card checkout enter the information select iseva and after that you will be redirected to the iseva payment page iseva payment page and after that login continue payment confirm and 
our newest order is published here if you go to the home page and go to the order number 30 this is the latest order and if you go here you can see that using iseva payment completed now our code works successfully so uh, in this way we can th integrate the iseva payment gateway in our system but there is something missing in our missing we have missed something and uh, i want to finish that so let me go to the checkout page and if you put something here and select iseva and place order you can see that um, everyone can see these forms and change the value of it so i want to restrict that i want to make everything invisible here okay the input type will be hidden and i don't want to i don't want user to make this page submit so i want to write little script here script javascript here the id of the form will be form underscore okay my form mm, document dot get element by id and the id will be my form okay and document dot get element by id and id will be the my form that i want to submit that form okay so also i want to set some interval set some timeout here and in case of timeout i want to make a function here that will submit our form okay that will submit our form automatically and i want to give the time range of 500 milliseconds so uh, i want to write something here you are uh, you will be redirected to the iseva website okay will be redirected to the iseva website and i want to make it i want to place it in center style text align center okay so uh, if you go here and place your order now you can see uh, what happened okay i forgot to choose iseva so let me add an item to the card go to cart go to checkout enter the information select iseva and place order okay after that here okay something is still visible here mm, i want to make this uh, whole form invisible okay so uh, here i want to write style tag and uh, has my form display non okay so uh, our code works but uh, let's finish this process continue the payment confirm and after that now add another item to the cart something is making my laptop so slow i think this video recorder screen recorder is doing this and uh, now you saw that uh, we cannot see the form and we are automatically redirected to the iseva page okay so in this way we can integrate the iseva in our e-commerce website and this um, you can see that a new order is placed go to your admin home page and new order is placed with uh, payment information is uh, using iseva payment completed okay <coughs> Uh, when you go live you have to replace some information from here you have to talk with the iseva iseva company and get the get your this uh, scd or merchant code from them and 
use that information in your views and in your HTML page okay here is also the e-payment instead of this you need to use your own merchant code okay so uh, uh, after you when you go live according to the documentation you can see in your documentation that uh, here are the URLs provided uh, in case you go live you have to remove this uh, UAT from here okay like this and uh, in the verification URL you have to remove this uh, UAT okay and all other things are same and you also have to use your own SCD or merchant code so in this way uh, we have successfully integrated Khalti payment gateway and Isewa payment gateway in our code I the code can be implemented in various way but I made similar approach to like uh, Khalti request Isewa request Khalti verify Isewa verify okay so if you integrate these two uh, the payment gateway successfully you can integrate all other payment gateway uh, in similar ways okay so here are the code for ECWA request and ECWA verification ECWA verification and I will upload this code in the github so you can copy the code from the github and if you have any confusion comment uh, your problem in my youtube comment section and I will try to uh, guide you from there so thanks for watching